What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at what are possibly the best 5 weapons in PvE in the game right now. We're going to rank these from 1 to 5. If you enjoyed the video then be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're brand new here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then you're in the right place and be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into this video. So we're going to kick this video off in reverse. We're going to start off at number five, which is the 21% Delirium. This is a legendary machine gun, which is in the arc element. It is a rapid fire frame with deep ammo reserves and a fast reload when the magazine is empty. It also comes with overflow, which is where picking up special or heavy ammo reloads this weapon beyond its normal capacity and killing tally where it kills increases this weapon's damage until it's either stowed or reloaded. And as you can see, it's a 900 RPM machine gun. Now you can get this from completing the weapons associated gambit quest by your bootstraps and you can get that from the drifter over in the tower. So this is a great weapon, guys. It's very versatile and allows you to kill low tier ads very quickly whilst also building up your killing tally which means that when you get to yellow bars or bosses you can take these out as well so it gives you great versatility in a single weapon and it is probably the go-to pve machine gun currently in the game now moving on to number four we have the wendigo gl3 this is a legendary grenade launcher also in the arc element is adaptive frame so it's well-rounded reliable and sturdy it comes with blinding grenades where detonation has a brief blinding effect as well as auto loading holster where holstering the weapon will automatically reload after a short period of time but the key perk here is explosive light where picking up an orb of light increases the next grenade's blast radius and damage and you can get this weapon by completing the associated vanguard quest which you can pick cut from Zavala. Now this is a fantastic weapon for DPS, it does immense amount of damage and the orbs of light from explosive light do stack as well so it increases the damage output of this weapon further. It has a great ammo reserve by default so you'll have plenty of rounds to take out large tier enemies and bosses and a team of Wendigos will melt bosses very very easily. Moving on to number three, we have the Mountaintop, which is also a legendary grenade launcher. However, this is in the kinetic slot and has no element attached. It's a lightweight frame, which allows you to move faster with this weapon equipped. It comes with range finder, where aiming this weapon increases effective range and zoom magnification. It increases the projectile velocity while aiming rocket launchers and grenade launchers. And the key perk here is Micro Missile. This weapon fires in a straight line and has a massively increased projectile speed. Now the source for this weapon is by completing the pursuit from Lord Shax for Season 5 Season of the Forge and you'll be able to gain this from him in the tower. Now this was very much a go-to weapon in PvE last season, especially with the Crown of Sorrow and defeating the raid very, very efficiently. Even after the adjustments to Well of Radiance and the Rally Barricade this season, it still offers a fantastic DPS option. And together, paired with things like Anarchy, this provides a fantastic DPS weapon, but is also great at killing and clearing low tier adds as well. Now moving on to number two, we have the Recluse, which is arguably probably the most talked about weapon in Destiny at the moment. It's a legendary submachine gun in the Void element. It is also a lightweight frame, which allows you to move faster with this weapon equipped. It comes with Feeding Frenzy, where kills with this weapon increase for load speed for a short time. And Master of Arms, where kills with any weapon improve the weapon's damage for a short period of time. And this is a 900 RPM submachine gun, and together those two perds are deadly. Now you can get this by completing the weapons associated crucible quest from the mouths of babes and you can get that from lord shacks as well this is a fantastic weapon on all levels it's light it's agile it does great damage to low tier ads and with master of arms it can melt yellow bars very very quickly on pc there's practically no recoil and the range is actually insane and it's very much the go-to weapon and this is across pve and pvp so it's very versatile and can be used across all game modes and activities in the game and it's most definitely one worth chasing down if you don't have it already now coming in at number one last by no means least is the izanagi's burden this is the only exotic in this top five and this is an exotic sniper rifle which sits in your kinetic slot the key perks are honed edge where holding reload consumes the magazine and loads a more powerful round as well as outlaw where precision kills greatly decrease reload time the Catalyst is also called Peerless Edge and this increases the damage bonus of Honed Edge where four bullets are consumed together and it's a 90 RPM sniper rifle and you can get this from the exotic quest 
from A to 1. Now this sniper rifle offers great versatility, you can use it as a conventional sniper with 4 rounds in the magazine, which is competitive at 90 RPM, or you can take those 4 bullets and crunch them into a single round, where this weapon does unrivaled amounts of damage when it comes to boss DPS across all PvE game modes. If you don't have the catalysts, you need to get this from the menagerie, you first need to have a fully perfected chalice and then complete it on the heroic difficulty. So there we have it guys, those are my top 5, let me know in the comment section down below what your top 5 would be and what your opinions are on these weapons. These are definitely in my opinion ones worth chasing down and will serve you well throughout Shadowkeep and Season 8. If you have enjoyed the video then be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And as I said before, if you're brand new here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys and I'll catch you all again very soon.